This is the real Tom Rosen. This question is very difficult to solve algebraically. Um, so what we need to do is um, we can use the construction of this question against it. Um, and it has a weakness. So it says if a over b equals 5, then uh, they ask you to evaluate um, this expression. And they want to you to evaluate it for a number. So you might uh, originally think, I'm not sure how I can plug an a over b um, into this form, right? There's no place to really like plug in um, a over b. One way you could do it is with substitution. You could say, okay, well, a must equal 5b. And let's plug that in there and see if we get things to cancel out. Um, in fact, let's, let's do it both ways. Um, I'm going to show you a faster way in a second, though. So if a is 5b, we end up with uh, 5b squared minus 25b squared. Um, 5b squared is 25b squared minus 25b squared, um, which equals 0. So you can pick the answer that way. That's uh, I find that difficult to, to spot. And I would find that difficult to do on, on a test when I was really under pressure. But you can use um, what I think of as a simpler technique here, um, which is you can say they're allowing us to pick whatever we want for a and b. As long as the fraction equals 5, then we're in bounds. So I think let's pick, uh, let's just pick numbers. Let's say a equals 5 and b equals 1, hypothetically. And let's plug those numbers in uh, to the expression that we're given. So say 5 squared minus um, 25b squared, and then evaluate. So 5 squared is 25. Um, 25 times 1 squared is 25, and that equals 0. So that's another way that you could get 0. And you didn't have to be clever to figure out this substitution, and you didn't have to do a substitution. You just pick numbers, plug them in, generate the answer. So I like that technique. I like this one better um, for the ACT itself.